everyone how you guys doing today so it's Sunday it's a little after 7 p.m. I'm gonna take you on a little ride on the painted post bike path walking path so essentially it starts up here at Craig Park it's by our middle school which used to be our high school. I think about, I think it was like five years ago. They expanded their sec, our other high school, moved all the high school kids to that one, and then closed down two middle schools and made this the middle school. It used to be West High. I graduated from it in 1986. Most of my kids went through high school there, and um, this is Craig Park. It's got a pavilion. It has a pool, but as you'll see as we go by, it's empty. It's been closed for years now. It used to be a great place. And then where they used to have tennis courts and stuff, they made a a dog park so we'll ride past all that and to the end of the trail the trail's only maybe just a hair or longer than a mile but it's really nice it's a nice path so let's get going We'll hop up here, go past the pool. Yeah, this used to be a really nice pool. Swam here when I was in high school. My kids were real little. We brought them here too. But there's a playground over there. Yeah, I don't know why they don't keep it going. Dog all, dog all in the loose. So yeah, the tennis courts and stuff they made, like pet or um, dog park. Basketball courts are still here, but see the black t or the asphalt's all cracked and grass growing up. <clears throat> and yeah, this is part of the wine glass marathon. They come up through here. Nice little bench, probably should be in the grass, not on the path, but that looks pretty new. Yeah, I was gonna ride up to the other end, but it was getting kind of late. So I threw the bike on a bike rack and drove up to this end. So yeah, you gotta go slow. There's a lot of people walking and So, another bench and a little kitty bench. But this is the train depot. 
It's also the Pay and Post Museum. Been in there once. I know they have a lot of a lot of cool old stuff and Indian heads and or I mean Indian arrowheads. And then over here every week they have a farmer's market. So that's nice. Actually, there's a geocache someplace by this train depot, so maybe on the way back I'll look for it. I'll make that like separate video though. They also do a pie and glove 5k Thanksgiving time and they run this path. I did bike support one year for it. It was cold too, but it was fun. Hey, cross a few streets. This is probably the busiest one. Another bench. Like I said, I would assume they should be in the grass off the path, but probably moved them and they cut the grass and didn't put them back. See, there's one over there under the tree. Now we're actually in village of Riverside, Riverside Town Hall on the right. Playground. That's really gotten a lot bigger since I was in the neighborhood. <clears throat> yeah, another reason I thought I'd come this way because the sun's getting pretty low. We'd be face going right into the sun if I started the end up here. This is Cutler Creek. It's 
sign up that says Village of Riverside Bike Trail Bridge, courtesy of Car Carol A. Fairtella, William J. Cornell Mayor, Trustees Ron Childs, Jordan B. Turner. So I know Cornell and Childs used to work with them. They were good guys. Then you go under the highway, and then essentially that's going to be it. Then you can go on the road and keep on going. So yeah, that's it for this video. Just thought I'd show you a nice little bike path we have in the area. Um, wish it was a lot longer, but it's only a little over a mile. So if you like these kind of videos, trails, I'll do more of them. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel so You know when I post them. Other than that, stay tuned for part two. Me looking for that geocache. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.